Hello there, I'm Annalicia from Falcon Crest, and for me, the great life is putting my three dogs in my Jeep and going camping in the snow. We have some fascinating people for you to meet today. One of them is Annalicia from Falcon Crest. And you'll meet Vince and Mary Kikarillo. They're a fascinating couple who live in Houston, Texas, and I mean, a, they live a great life. And we also have an exclusive tour of Palm Beach, Florida. We begin by taking you to Montego Bay, Jamaica. Bob and I were there recently to relax and christen a new luxury cruise ship named Regency. Let's head for Jamaica. I realize that California isn't known for winter blizzards, but it was still nice to get into the tropic sun. And board a floating hotel like the Regent Sea. That's right. This was to be the ship's maiden voyage after a $15 million overhaul, and you could tell it had become a first-class floating hotel, the kind of home away from home you could really enjoy. And when we arrived, everyone was excited about the christening ceremony. And to tell the truth, so was I. It seemed a waste of champagne that made me nervous. Uh, shouldn't have. It's a time-honored custom. Tradition of the sea, or the cell celebrating and festivities are part of the show. Well, I did enjoy the ceremonies leading up to the christening, but I kept worrying about scarring the paint when I threw the bottle. <laughs> no wonder you missed the first two times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come in, Wayne. Okay, go ahead. Bye! <laughs> 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 It's true. The brochures and travel posters all talk about the romance of the tropics, and it's there. It sure is. If there was ever a picture that summed up the great life of luxury, this is it. No wonder the ship was so crowded. This certainly beats shoveling snow or sloshing through it. But I mentioned that the Regent Sea was first-class floating hotel. And the hors d'oeuvres prove it. It's a sure sign that the management's taking care of every little detail. If the hors d'oeuvres are good, you know the trip's going to be good. You're right. And I was a lot more comfortable handling champagne this way than throwing it at the hull. <laughs> I don't think throwing it at the hull is quite the right term, but it'll do. You were a smashing success. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think the best part of that first day was getting away from the crowd and experiencing some of that romantic atmosphere the islands promised. Why does it seem so much more romantic in a place like this? Uh, that's easy. The sea, the moon, tropical air, the fact that you're on Montego Bay in Jamaica, those are the things that dreams are made of. Now I understand why people indulge in a midwinter vacation. So do I. And tomorrow we get to continue ours. There's lots more to this island adventure. Coming right up, Anna Alicia. She plays that risque woman, Melissa, on Falcon Crest. Risque? Melissa just likes a little company, that's all. Oh, yeah? Stay tuned for Anna Alicia. Our second day on board the Regency was truly a luxury cruise. Once we left port for Montego Bay in lovely Jamaica, a leisurely pace was set, and that was just perfect for some sun by the pool. Ah, this is the great life. A beautiful day on board ship with a beautiful companion by my side. Well, thank you, Bob. You know, we should do this more often. The Caribbean is the perfect winter getaway. Yeah, when that warm sun gets just a little too hot, jumping in the pool for an exercise class seems just the ticket. Now, speaking of all that, that warm sun, what could be better than a nice, cool drink? I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed some of the local sites. You mean like the speedboats, local fishing, sailing? That's right. And thinking of all that wonderful fresh seafood gave me quite an appetite. One that was easily satisfied with the grilled lunch on deck. Well, good food is all fine and well. I have to admit to what I was looking forward to is a visit to the bridge. You've always been mechanically inclined, although the navigator was very helpful in explaining all the instruments like the radar, the navigational charts. Well, yeah, he even let me have a go at the helm. But this wasn't much fun, watching radar and plotting courses. But it's all part of the job if you're navigating. And I guess I navigated pretty well because I got us back to Montego Bay, with the crew's help, of course. Hey, land ho! That's Jamaica. I knew that. 
But the trick was, what part of Jamaica? That's why the captain gets the big bucks. He knew exactly where we were, which proves, I guess, that when it comes to seamanship, we make wonderful passengers. We already had a full day, but after meeting Captain Emmanuel Grillis, I found out there was much more to do on board the Regency. Did you know they have nine lounges, a movie theater, library, computer room, a gym, disco, and a casino? I'll drink to that. You know, it suddenly dawns on me that we spend a lot of time eating and toasting on these vacation trips. <laughs> but I don't care. Neither do I. I enjoy it. And besides, we're supposed to be enjoying the great life, right? Naturally. It's a nasty job, but someone's got to do it. And we do it so well. Even when there's a violinist sawing away in your ear. It was lovely. I enjoyed it. But the truth is, you could hardly wait for the toast to be over so we could move on to the next entertainment item on our agenda. You know me, I love the casino. And you know me, I worry about your luck. <laughs> so do I. That's why I decided to watch this time, and it was still fun. And wasn't the floor show great? They really get some good entertainment here on the high seas. Remember how the captain wanted us to get out there and be part of the disco entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> I remember how I held out for something a little more romantic. Now, this is my idea of a great life vacation. Montego Bay, Jamaica, and you in my arms.